I'm just gonna run it. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run this, and we're just gonna we're gonna copycat. We're just gonna copycat, and we'll see what happens. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. But yeah, the size of Pokemon, generally speaking, doesn't matter, Amber. The only place it matters is actually Pumpkaboo. The different Pumpkaboo sizes actually have different stats. But that's really the only place I think it matters for, like, actual gameplay purposes. Rats and fish, too, but that's for badges. Raticate. Yeah, that's not great. Um, we're going to safe swap out of this. Okay. I actually think this is fine. I actually think this is fine. We do need we do need switch advantage. That's a that's an actual thing we kind of need. The question is, I mean, Megahorn hits hard, but I don't think it's good enough that I should be shielding it here. Also, if they don't have Megahorn, which they don't, uh, suddenly this becomes very good for us. can't imagine there aren't aerialized megahorn so cheers romero have a good one or yeah romero catch you later friend yeah aerial ace is not it that is not it all right well good news bad news i i wonder if they don't have a better answer like they could also be on like sable eye or something here and it's possible that protecting our Mandibuzz is actually really important. That's kind of what I'm guessing right now. But. Nope, it's Wormadam. <laughs> All right, well, that's good for us. I think we're going to be okay here. I mean, part of me wishes that I had, let's see. So iron head. Just shield this. I know that we probably should be shadow balling here, but I don't think as long as we're not out of shields, Yeah, our opponent definitely needed switch, but I don't know that they had a good way of getting switch. I also do kind of want this shield because of how flimsy uh, Toxicroak is. I know this seems crazy, but like... The math is still fine. Because basically what happens here is uh, we were either going to counter through it and still have our shield and be alive or and get the energy or, you know, we were going to be fine either way. Boop. GG's. Okay. Yeah. Pretty weak to Mandy there. I think Toxicroak will have any play. Yes, they will. It should have play in Ultra Halloween. It should. Does Aerial Ace Escav beat Mandy? I don't think so, John. Maybe. They didn't shield the first move, though, so, like, I kind of just didn't care. That was the thing where it's like, maybe. Maybe if they shield everything, but I, I'm starting to think that that's, that's just really ambitious. Because if they shield the first move, I probably do, too, just to be on the safe side. And I just don't know that they outfast move you because they're so squishy. All right, so that was Rat. It was... uh Wormadam and it was Escav. They were definitely kind of hunting uh other stuff. Did it not give me oh there's my win. I was like, did it not give me a win? That would be unfortunate. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Alright, let's do it. Good luck. I think so, Bill, yeah. Air Slash just has a lot more utility here. Um, and it really helps again a couple matchups that are a little close otherwise. I don't like it generally, but I think it's correct here. Toxicroak. That's bad, y'all. Not gonna lie. That's real bad. 
So this is not a good swap for us, but I'm hoping maybe we make something out of it. They're also going to shield an acid spray, so <laughs> guaranteed. Oh, uh, we don't get a second move off. That's unfortunate. That part's unfortunate. I also think their Toxicroak is dead now, by the way, because of the acid spray. <laughs> Pretty sure it's dead. Yeah, it's shielding bomb. Yep. <laughs> Bye. Uh, all right, Umbreon. So we do have shield advantage, which is nice, but we're still kind of in an awkward spot here. Oh, timing is bad on that. I'm not shielding this. Let's see if they have another counter for this. Uh, Golbat. All right. Golbat is not really all that reliable here, so. What we really want to set up is some scenario where we can bug buzz for the win. But Rat is looking decent against what's going on here. We do have to start shielding these, though. They do, but I I'm, I'm think this matchup's going to go long enough that I can switch. And we're still going to be in pretty good shape from there. Like... They're still at a spot where the shield is pretty valuable to them, and I don't know how exactly. Yeah, the shield going down is good for us. We got the defense drop, too. The Umbreon has a move. This is bad. Like, we actually might lose from here if it has a move. Okay, it doesn't. It does not have a move. That's good. The question here, well, hmm. I'm worried that I can't confusion. Th oh, they have two moves. Ah, all right. Well, they, they had more energy than I thought. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, well played. We just can't quite confusion through it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Trying to think if there was a way. I I needed to get the yeah, I don't know. Cause the, the bat is still alive too, so there's some stuff that goes on there. I don't know. It's just a little dicey, right? It's just a little dicey. We needed a little more health to work with, and we just didn't have it. I'm sure there's a way to win that game. Like I guarantee you there's a way to win that game, but uh I didn't find it, which is unfortunate. And uh, Umbreon. Say la vie. I'd have to go back and and look at where we where we sort of played that out, but I definitely think there's a I definitely think there's something for us there. And the problem is if we let the rat go down, we have no fast move pressure on the Umbreon. It's got quite a bit of health, but maybe we use the... Sh I just don't think we're getting to another bug buzz there. I think that's the problem. I think we're too far from bug buzz and we'll get outpaced. We actually basically needed Wormadam to farm down their bat is what we needed. Uh, Toxicroak and Toxapex. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I think we just stay here right I have other options but or what we can do is catch a drill run on the bat seems like a pretty reliably good play right oh they acid sprayed me <laughs> somebody 
has been reading my dream journals. I wonder, if, I wonder if drill run after the acid spray kills me. I'm not gonna worry about it. Like at this point, fuck it. Drill run, what does it do? Yeah, it's not gonna kill me. All right, it's probably correct to poison Fang um, and then Shadow Ball, but I'm not 100% confident we'd get there. So let me get the Shadow Ball off. And if we get a Poison Fang, no, we don't get it. So we wouldn't have got there. Okay. Feeling pretty good about where we are now, by the way. That team, uh, this team might have a bit of a Toxicroak problem, especially in the lead. I think their best line may have been to just potentially sack the lead. Yeah, Shadow Bone, that's fine. I want Psychics for the, uh, I want Psychics for the, uh, what's it called? The Toxapex. I think bulky. I don't really care about taking a couple Shadow Bones. We'll max out the energy here. We definitely are full ass over farmed here. Like, there we go. GG's. <laughs> I think we wasted like two and a half snarls worth of energy there. <laughs> yeah, but we got to win. So that's, that's what matters. That's what matters. All right. Um... That team was uh, Toxapex. It was Escav. And it was uh, Marowak. Shadowwack. <laughs> it happens, AJ. Sometimes chat just doesn't know what to say after something gets said. Psychic is really satisfying. That like nice slow circle is really satisfying. I do like it a lot. Fairy has a similar a similar vibe to it. Zwilus. Ooh, that's fun. It's our first Zwilus. The real answer question here is uh, whether or not we beat Zwilus. I mean, obviously, I probably should just make an attempt for Gunk Shot here, but... but they're not going to shield that. I think that's okay, right? Like, there's the dark pulse. It hits pretty hard. We're gonna, we're actually gonna pivot here and, and punch, get the health a little lower. I don't have two dark pulses, right? No, you resist that. You know they gotta shield this, right? You know they're shielding it, right? <laughs> oh boy, do I love me a uh, an acid spray bait. I mean, to be fair, this isn't the best place to be because we're going to have to give them back a shield here, but... They're going to be dead real fast to fire spins. <laughs> or they'll be dead to one fire spin. <laughs> Are we gonna get a concession on that? <laughs> we might. <laughs> that's a pretty that's a pretty rough break for our opponent. No charge move there either is a pretty rough break. Ah, alright, Toxapex in the back. Yeah, GG's. My opponent's like, alright, I know I'm acid sprayed, but hear me out. There's not a lot of fast moves that'll kill me before I can throw my move, right? <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. What kind of what kind of psychopath is running a running a Marowak? Yeah, about that. Um, all right, it's the first time we've used Zwilus this entire rotation, by the way. Uh, Zwilus, Escav, and Toxapex is the team. Okay, sure. Let's do it. Sorry, Zabix. R.I.P. 
Hmm. Am I winning? I guess. I mean, I'm three and one right now in the set. And we probably had an out to win the game we lost. I just, I couldn't find it. And that to me is like, sometimes like, I know that if I go back and look at this game closely, I'll figure out where I, where I could have found a way to win that game. But I'm just not going to rabbit hole on it. A Vexafon. Good luck, friend. What do we got? We got Zwilus into... Pff, God damn it. Escav. That's not good for us. Uh, neither is the lag spike. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's really bad for us. Because this game... Uh, really... Mm, does it, Ricky? Well, we yeah, we one-shot him then. Which is great. That's terrible for us. Into Sableye. Uh, I think they're... I think... Well, this is a good catch because I don't think they're going to shield this. And a drill run would have been much better there for us. But they will have to shield the second one on the chance that it's a drill run. And now we have a four-stage debuff on this, which should be fun. But that, uh, uh, we don't want to give him any time to switch out. Look at that sable I melt. Look at it melt. <laughs> Bye. Fun. We probably should be body slamming here. I actually think this is a little aggressive. Oh, oh, they didn't shield. Okay, 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 okay. All right. I'm feeling pretty good now. Because once we get ahead in the Toxapex race, which we're about to get in, the game's basically over, right? And I'm way more interested in being ahead. Give me a body slam at least. Okay. I'm more interested in being ahead on the damage race than the energy race, especially because we got a lot of damage in here. It really doesn't matter how much energy they have. They're not going to be able to get through a shield and a Toxapex. It's just not that potent. GG's. All right. Well, that worked out for us. That definitely worked out for us. Um, we'll take our four wins. Gosh, it really doesn't make me want to play more Halloween Cup because that is a great that is a great way to say we're done with Halloween Cup, right? 